Hey everybody and thank you so much for joining me back into Ostrov. My name is Axfield. We are play playing the latest map which came with the last update which is the only map that allows you to create a completely independent city. So that's what I intend to do within this series. So if you are new and you like city builders, builders, crafting and survival then this is a channel for you to be. Please do remember to subscribe as well as press the bell notification so that you may t stay updated on every series episode that I post. Okay, so I've completed the square uh, of row houses off screen. I just needed to add the one more block. And then I've also moved the stone storages. So I've got the one mining camp over here at the bottom. And I've placed the storages there. And I've also moved the other mining camp here to the rocks. So we won't see any of those pesky lines that's forming here every time when they have to go over the bridge to collect the stone here. So we shouldn't see any funny lines forming now. But I intend to improve my logistics within this episode. So I want to do a combination of cart sheds, wagon sheds and also cart parkings that I want to spread out all across the town and maybe also add a few additional residential homes. Okay, so we might have to increase our labor force again. We do have a lot at the moment. And uh, yeah, we've already completed or filled all the apartments within the row houses here at the bottom. So we do have a strong labor force, I must say. So um, I think we're going to be okay. And I've currently got two wagons. This is my first two wagons that I've got. I'm going to just keep on breeding with the horses here. So they need to be at least two years old, the horses, to be able to use them as a draft horse. So we're going to keep them breeding uh, just like how they are doing now. And uh, we'll come back and to see once we've got enough horses, we can add them. Um, to our disposal as a draft horse but let's maybe start by adding another cart shed over here at the bottom okay so I do have one over there and I've got another one over there so we've got two currently and uh, I think to have a third one with our current population standing at 300 almost 360 I think it's a good time to add another cart shed so I want to place it on a practical place but also just make it look nice. This is not a bad space here, I must say. I did want to make my dairy uh, production. I wanted to place the building over here. But I think our dairy is doing fine at the moment, just with the one building. So, yeah, let's maybe... Let's maybe place the cart shed over there. I want to try and keep it compact. So that it's easy to move around for all the people. Okay, now I do have my one wagon shed here, so we're going to look at placing another one further up. In fact, this is not a bad spot to have one right up here like so. Kind of keep it like in line with the residential homes. It's going to look nice like that. So let's place one over there. And then I also want to add another cart parking. So this is for the laborers themselves. And, ooh, you know... This is not a bad idea to actually place a cart parking around about here. This is not a bad idea at all. I think it would look pretty nice. So let's just go and pop it down there. Uh, this is our first time we've had a family struggling with money. Um, so yeah, I've actually been playing very well. We haven't had one family struggling with money. That was the first one. So that's also a sign that we do have an extensive labor force. So that's a good sign. We've got enough workers now. So as soon as you see families starting to ask for money, then that means there's not enough work to go around. Or you're paying them the wages way too low. So it's either one of the two. Uh, you'll know which one you've did wrong. Okay. So I'm going to maybe... I'm thinking of adding blocks like this. Maybe I'm going to do row houses here at the back of the barber shop. I think it would look good to have a couple of row houses here. But I'm going to do more farming houses on this side. And maybe do uh, six houses. It's a similar block to what I normally do. And we create a decent size for the field. So that we can get a generous amount of crops from there. I think that's pretty square. Okay, so I'm going to just go with that. 
And let's maybe just add three for now. Oops, 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 wrong button. Want to make it slightly wider. There we go. Let's just do one more. All right, there we go. <clears throat> so I'm going to keep everything in fast forward. Uh, yeah, I'm still a little bit under the weather. My voice is recovering. Um, but yeah, it's it's going better. So yeah, just do excuse me if I'm still struggling a bit with my voice. But uh, I think I'm going to manage. Alright, so I want to show you also, if you were not aware, you can buy this little monument over here. It's called Patron of the Arts Monument. So this is just a monument. It's It's kind of like a DLC, but it's not really a DLC. It's only to show you support really for the developer. Uh, he's Ukrainian and they are going, uh, they're still at war at the moment. So this is basically just to show you support for the development. If you do want to buy it on Steam, you can. And uh, that will just help the developer to continue with what he's doing, continue to improve Ostrov and just support him and his family through the tough times that they are going through. So yeah, please do remember to go and get yourself a little monument like this just to show you support uh, so i did get mine and uh yeah where the stone mining camp was i took this one away the mining camp and i placed the monument over here so like i did mention in the previous episode i do i did wanted to do something nice over here so we've got the monument over there and i think it's very suitable the location for the monument now i'm waiting for them to clear out the stone but they're taking forever I'm going to just go ahead and destroy these stones. There we go. Okay, so then we can just take that apart and then we can maybe add a few more extra stuff here. Mm, not quite sure what I want to place here yet. I'll have to think about that one. But uh, I think it's a good place where we've got this little monument over here. Maybe add some shrubbery, you know, just to color it in a bit. go yeah we've got a messenger from Pinutine, so i'm gonna just go ahead and sell my usual items that i do i want to also start incorporating the warm clothes and that's a very good item to sell you make extremely good money on the warm clothes So in any case, our production should be going well at the moment. Let's see what's happening here with the tailor. All right, so you can see we've got plenty of plenty of broadcloth, uh, plenty of textiles. So yeah, that will leave us with, we should be able to produce a lot of clothes. So you know what I am going to do is I'm going to just add a few more extra workers here. And our weaver's workshop is full in any case. Uh, shoemaker, we can maybe add another shoemaker as well. Okay. So the people need money, so we can just go ahead and employ them. Seeing that we've got all those workers now. Okay, so we've got this wagon shed also up now. I'm going to leave this the wagon shed empty for a while. And um, yeah, look, we've got the carpentry. Hmm... Okay, I'm thinking what I want to do is, I do want to add another carpentry also in a later stage. But it's not really the carpentry building that's the issue, it's actually the smithy. So we're starting to struggle with all the metal parts that we've got to produce. One smithy is simply not cutting it at the moment. So I want to look at maybe getting another smithy. Maybe once we've got the iron mine up and going. So you see the thing is with this episode I am going to extend some more residential buildings towards this side 
And then once we've got a block or two here, we've got the people close enough to start mining here. And then, then we can start full steam with the iron mining. And we should be able to do that within the next episode. Let's just order a few carts here for the cart parking that will be utilized by the laborers. And then I also want to employ the cart parking over here. And we're going to use it for all the different supplies. I'm going to just limit the laborers to 8 and it's just for all the slots here. Why not? And I'm going to just order a whole bunch of carts. Now, I'm really running low on metal parts. So I'm going to send a messenger to Durkachi. And Durkachi, they do supply us with the metal parts. So I'm going to just buy a whole bunch of metal parts. So that we can be sorted for all the carts that we need for the town. But I must start looking at a prospecting spot where we can place the smithy. And uh, I'm going to maybe have to look at also building a, f a third charcoal pile. The two at the moment is doing pretty well. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. Now what I am thinking is once we've cleared the forest on this side. And also this one over here. I'm going to move the forestry a little bit more to the left. And then I'm going to do my own or have my own forestry square whatever you call it yeah so i'm gonna do like a square where they can then plant the trees and then just drop the trees from that little space so we'll do that on a later stage and it's gonna be quite some time before i get to that stage but uh, i'm gonna just tell them to keep on clearing the woods on this side so that we can start moving comfortably to to do the the iron mining <laughs> i almost said the ironing I'm sure they're going to do some ironing as well, but uh, we need to do the iron mining. That is a priority. Okay, so I've got a hundred and I'm going to just pretty much buy everything at this stage. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this will just ensure that we've got all the parts that we need for the carts. So there you can see there's a whole bunch of orders going in. And uh, yeah, let's just sell what we can here to Balaglia. Must also do that actually with the Rukachi. I just sell that, and for the Rukachi, I'm gonna just sell my shoes. Okay, and maybe the apples as well. Okay, good. And so far, everything's running really smooth. And no more funny lines forming here with the stone mining camp. So yeah, I should have probably done that a long time ago. It just felt strange having a building so far from all the residential buildings here. So my thoughts within the previous episode was to build a school here. And um, I don't know. got a school right over here and then here at the bottom I think we've got a school somewhere here if I remember correctly oh here we go here's the other school okay so we do have two schools um I don't know if that's enough really 360 population okay let's just leave that open for a while and I'll still see what I'm gonna do there you know what I can do and I think I did mention it before but I can Build my barber surgery over here. That would look nice. If I can get it to place it straight like this, I think it would look really good. Yeah. You know what? Let's do that. Let's go ahead and place the barber surgery right over here. Why not? I've also added the stone bridge over here and within the next episode I should have my stone bridge up and ready on this side as well. And then it's going to look really nice. And then I'm going to start stepping up the paving, my paving game here with the city. I did extend it a little bit further as you can see I'm also going into the sides now here. So I pretty much want to get the whole square done maybe before we do the next episode. Get it done all the way here and all the way around like that and maybe also extend it here down to the bottom
Okay, so Pinutine is the, the town that we can sell our warm clothes to. So I want to just keep an eye on my warm clothes production. If I can step that up a little bit even further, that would be great. Um, but it is going better. Ideally, what I can do is I can maybe assign one tailor workshop. Just to do the clothes and then one to do warm clothes. That's also an option. I'm just maybe looking to that. Okay, well, you know what? Let's maybe go ahead and just add a hundred warm clothes that we can sell for now. Here we go. So I'm gonna maybe just say, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, we'll wait till they come around again. It's November now, so they're not gonna do any trading. Ah, oh, here they come. Oh, they're gonna finish off with the trading now. So, um, the developer, they he did release a new update uh, where you can build rows of burial plots. So, that's something that I've also actually been wanting for quite some time. It sounds so simple, but... Man, it's good to have it like that. Look at this. How cool is that? Now, this is what, what I've been looking for. Uh, it's okay. It takes a little bit of time to figure it out, but once you've got it, it's it's really easy. Much easier than placing them one by one. Here we go. So once you understand the mechanism, then it does make it a little bit easier just to do that one 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 all the time. Yeah, that's better. Oh, this is cool. We can fill the cemetery very quickly this way. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Okay, awesome stuff. Really grateful for that uh, little update. Okay, let's see here. Currently, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we've got six horses now. I'm going to just wait until this male horse, the one that's nine months old, until that, this one gets to two years, then I'm going to maybe assign this one as the draft horse. I'm going to try and utilize as many of the male horses as I can, just to keep the reproductive rate high. <laughs> could say it like that. But look how beautiful the city looks, even now in winter time. Very cool. Okay, so we've got the barber surgery up here as well. And uh, they're doing very well financially. They're already making such a killing. Previous month, 90 income. What on earth? The building just went up and they're already making a killing. Okay, I think I'm going to have to get my little tax book out again. And just start taxing them a little bit more. It's going crazy there. They might try and run, for, run the town one day. Okay, let's see. How's this barber surgery looking? Oh my goodness, 1,300. All right. Definitely have got to up the tax for them. Let's maybe take it to 40. I think this should keep them busy now. We've got the wealth tax here as well. And I've made the wealth tax threshold 120. That just gives us a little bit of leeway. In case a family does run into trouble. So for example if a family member dies. Then yeah they will start struggling financially. So it will just keep them going along. Without that extra person to bring in a salary for the house. But I must say I'm pretty impressed that we haven't had anybody looking for money. Within the row houses. Usually they are the first people that would ask me for money. Because they obviously they don't have the crop field, so they don't produce any extra income. So far everything's looking really good. I think I can maybe just go ahead and add 
my houses just here on the opposite side okay the market stalls aren't too far from here so i don't think i need any additional stalls let's just do that too and uh, once the lumberjacks have removed these trees uh, then I'll just slot in the extra house I just want to see how my stone supply is looking at the moment I've got 10,000 yeah at this mining camp and then I've got my stone storage here at the bottom as well okay yeah we've got plenty of stone to go around man Stones just multiplying at this stage. You know, I think while we're at it, let's maybe, let's just build the mine for now. We can utilize the mine within the next episode. But I think let's, let's maybe just set it up for now. And yeah, I think I want to kind of like... Build it as close to the side as I can, which is pretty much right over there. Here we go. Okay, so someone did suggest to me that I must build a stone bridge here. A shorter one. It's not a bad idea, you know. I think it's going to look pretty nice. Let's just try and get it square with the other bridge. Yeah, this would make sense actually. I have a secondary bridge. Here we go. I'm gonna just take our like all the metal parts that I can. So I think that's going to be a thing for now until I've got my own iron production and I've got an additional smithy. I'm going to just have to import the metal parts. Yeah, so remember the main focus is to get completely independent. So at this stage I'm still going to import until we reach that level. Here we go. Okay, now of course another thing that I need to do Yes, I need to get a warehouse set up here because I want to place the iron in the warehouse. Although I think we should be able to put the iron ore in these storages. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so there is a slot for the iron ore. So I'm going to have to build more of these storages and just place the iron ore in there. Now, I think what would be a good idea is maybe to have the iron ore storages here. It would just make sense. Yeah, by the smell tree so they're going to travel far to bring the iron ore but we're going to have our wa wagons ready so then we'll be able to quickly transfer all the stuff to the smell tree let's see if we can maybe squeeze two of these storages in here we go Alright, so if we're going to fill both of those storages with the iron ore. Once we've started the production. And currently, we've reached our capacity between uh, the lime and the bricks. They do take up a lot of space. We can maybe just tell them to start working on another corner row house over here. So that we can complete this square. Here we go.
Yeah, yeah stone breach is doing pretty well. We've got all the resources that we need to complete the bridge. But I think it's going to look nice having the two bridges here. And it's it's a practical layout, really. Because you, at an eventual stage, you can then expand towards this side. The The downside is, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> you can't, can't remove the stone deposit over here. That is the downside. But it's also a benefit. I mean... To have the infinite stone is really cool. So I think what I would do ultimately, I'll probably just do some some crop farms over here. It's a nice flat space, a very big space here that we can utilize. So maybe doing like a block of row houses over here, and then they will all just basically be the farmers for this region over here. But uh, the east side is going to be our fancy area. We're going to have the nice row houses here with trees and flowers and all sorts of stuff here. going to look nice. Now I'm thinking of just maybe adding another fishing dock over here. I want to keep them a little bit spaced out. I don't want to be have the fishing docks too clumped up together. But uh, yeah, I think this is a good space. And place one over here like so. And then I'm going to also maybe add another one towards this side. We are going to expand gradually towards the side. We can add maybe another one there and another one around about here. Yeah, that would be good. Okay, cool. So we've got the two bridges up. Looking really nice. I think I'm going to also eventually change this bridge to a stone bridge. It's going to look really cool if we've got both of them um, stone bridges. Okay, right. So we're going to change the storage. We're going to change it to iron ore. They're so quick to drop off the stone here. It's insane. But yeah, we're going to use that for iron ore. And we're going to use the carters and the wagons as well. Iron ore. Carters, wagons, laborers. Okay, cool. Right, so they're going to start with the corner house here. I'm going to maybe also add another one or two additionally while I'm off screen. Our bricks, it is accumulating now at the moment. We really have a lot of bricks. You know, that's the, the downside about the bricks. Is once you've city, your city has expanded to a certain point, And you're not going to build any row houses anymore. You don't really use the bricks also. So, you end, end up overproducing. You cannot sell the bricks, unfortunately as well. So, yeah man. I wish you could sell the bricks and I wish you could sell dried fruit. Because now this is a new feature that's also been added recently now. Is that you can get dried fruit from the orchards. But I don't want to really change it into dried fruit because we... Apples, or fresh apples is a good trading commodity. We've got two towns that's willing to buy fresh apples from us. But none of the towns wants to buy dried fruit. Yeah, look how nice this part looks here. I think once we've got it paved out, it's going to look really cool. This part does look more complete now. With this little uh, monument we've got here and the barber surgery. It definitely looks right now. Our oxen are pretty old here by the salt works. I've got to just keep an eye on that. We may be going to have to replace them. Pretty soon. Okay, so we've got our added row house here. And then I'm going to just close it off. We're going to do three. 
like this and then we're going to close it off at that point yeah that's going to look really cool once we've got that also set up getting close to 400 population now it's a nice size okay so we're getting our new fishing dock and all the trees are gone here wow they really dug through the forest here really fast right yeah 200 just order the boat i'm gonna just add another worker here by the boat yard and only produce dried fish there we go right so now we've got this block also complete There we go, and that's done. Okay, so now my intention is to place the row houses parallel with the river. Now, I would love to do the row houses with the arcade, but they are very, it's a very tricky building to place because they don't like to stand on uneven ground or on uneven terrain, so. Yeah, I can't, I can't place these ones. Even if I face them the opposite way, it doesn't work. But if I place these ones, it might actually work. Uh, oh man. Also not. There I was hoping to get the row houses close to the river. Well, at least as close as I can. But more towards this side. Ah. You see, they do allow me here. There's not as much of a steep slope. So maybe we can build a bunch of row houses here towards this side. Yeah, that's going to look nice. Okay, well then we're going to just have to end up building more of the farmer houses on this side. We're going to basically end up with a second town square that's going to form over here. Uh, with some additional market stalls. I'm gonna maybe also have to look at getting another granary and a warehouse up here on this side. But yeah, that will just allow us or we can then further expand towards this side. And then I can place my row houses more or less here. And that's gonna look beautiful, you know. Once we add all the trees and the shrubbery and the fences and all that, that's gonna look really cool. And I think what I can do is I can add farmlands towards this side. Just get a whole bunch of extra farms here because it's, the city is going to expand towards this side we're going to utilize all of this space right over here but so far so good the city is running very smooth at the moment let's maybe go ahead and just change this bridge as well i've got so much stone production going on i might as well just change that as well Okay, so seeing that they've cleared the wood over there, I'm going to just start telling them to clear all the woods over here. Alright, so the bridge here, let me just go down here quickly. The bridge is torn down. I'm going to just go ahead and destroy all the resources here. Ah, there we go 168 nails let's just take that out as well okay now the path is clear here there we go so that will just enable me to build a stone bridge over here so this is going to be a tricky one ah there we go
Okay, that's it. Perfect. I'm gonna also fill my construction office here with all the builders. We've got the workforce now, so let's just fill that up. And then I'm looking also at adding some platforms over here. So let's do one maybe like that. place another one pretty much around about here yeah i think that's a good spot all right so we can see that all the fishermen they're out now they're heading pretty far out um, from their origin point so i think once we've got three fishing docks they're going to pretty much take up the whole space of the lake or let me say they're going to occupy all the, the fishing spots once we've got three I will push it further, obviously, just to make sure. Uh, but I think three is going to be sufficient. Okay, we've got the stone bridge up. So you can see now, with me having all the, the builders in the city, the things are going so much quicker. Building all the different structures. But there we go. So we've got the stone bridge up here now at the bottom as well. So the only bridge left now to do is this very long one. But yeah, that's going to look beautiful once we've got another stone bridge head up here. But in any case, guys, that's it from me for today's episode. I do hope that you did enjoy it. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next one.